up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? Today, I've got a really cool explore for you guys. This is a bungalow mansion built in 1961. It was actually empty a few years ago, but now it's officially abandoned as they're going to demolish this place. And when we get inside this place, you guys are absolutely going to have your minds blown. It's one of the most spectacular locations I've ever had the opportunity to film. And I can't wait to show this one to you guys. But before we do, I just want to remind you all, if you have not, to please click that subscribe button. My next goal for the channel is to try to get the channel to 5,000 subscribers. And I need all of you guys to help me out. So if you have not hit that button, please make sure you do. It'll help the channel grow. And of course, the bigger the channel gets, the more cool explorers we're going to get into. All right, let's not dilly-dally out here. Let's get inside and get right down to this explore because I think this one's going to blow you guys' minds. It's a beautiful walkway to the front door. Look at that. They had a little moat. They had like a big pond here. Well, like a moat kind of. Oh, that's cool. Let's check that out. Let's see if the door is open. Yep. Holy mackerel. <laughs> this is a massive garage, guys. It's three cars. But look at the windows. I've never seen a garage with windows like this before. That's a very old 80s garage door opener. We had one like that in my first house that I remember growing up in. We got an old fake plastic plant here. Yeah, I've never seen a garage with so many windows. This is wild. I guess that goes to the backyard. You got nothing in there really, just a time clock. Okay. Let's go up front here. We got James over there. Again, that's the front door. Nice bench at the front door. Yeah, that's cool. They had a planter there. That's cool. You know you have money when you have stuff like this. And obviously this side was like a big uh, waterfall. Wow. Let's continue this way and see what we can find. Everything is very overgrown. Look at this garden. Everything is just massively overgrown. It's got two air conditioning units. A couple different ways in. I guess we'll go around back this way. Oh wow. This is cool. This is an amazing backyard, guys. Wow. Take a look at this. Yeah, nice big pool. This would have been beautiful at one point in time. Look at that sunroom, though. This room's not in the best of shape. It's sagging. That's weird. This little addition here is in trouble. You know what's also weird? They have two sinks outside. <laughs> I guess they have to blow those out every year. Or else they would freeze. But yeah, look at this. What an absolutely amazing backyard, guys. Who wouldn't want to go for a swim here? And over here, this is really cool too. They have a barbecue pit or something. Maybe a fire pit. So over here they got like a concrete picnic table. Looks like they had a fire pit. Or it could even been like a built-in barbecue. Could have been both. That's really cool. Let's get that old bird house. Yeah, that's neat. 
We got these trees in the gardens here. And that's the back side of the house. This has collapsed. This might have been like a, a bird nest type structure. I'm not sure what this would have been. Maybe it's like just a gazebo for shelter. Big yard. Beautiful weeping willow trees. Got an empty shed back here. Let's see what's in there. This might have been for the pool. Yeah, it looks like a pool cabana or something like that. Oh, maybe in like a workshop. That's cool. Not a whole, oh yeah, there's a ladder for the pool. This is probably like a storage area. It wasn't a cabana. Those weeping willow trees are just awesome. But yeah, what an amazing looking house. Absolutely massive. 1961 gem here. It's even got the beautiful Marley roof. That'll last longer than the house. Wow. That is awesome. Look at this fishbone stair. That's very cool. Let's check it out. Oh, what an amazing deck. So this overlooks the pool. What an absolutely amazing house. All right, guys, why don't we go inside and check this one out? Okay, everybody, we're gonna start this one downstairs. And I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of work our way through the basement and we'll work our way upstairs since this place is a massive bungalow mansion. So right away, we've got this absolutely crazy jacuzzi room. Actually, this is a hot tub, not a jacuzzi, I'm sorry. We've got a nice quantum hot tub here. It's absolutely massive. And of course, there's the backyard that we were showing you earlier just before we came in. That beautiful winding fishbone stair going upstairs. But it's a very cool room. Looks like it might be stuck in the 90s. But it'd be amazing to come in here for a hot tub session after swimming or before swimming. Got an old Commander electric wall heating unit there. That's pretty cool. And we've got this beautiful French door going outside to the pool, which you guys just saw as well. As we go deeper in, oh. Look at that. Pink sink. Looks like it's an 80s counter and sink. Late 80s, early 90s, looking by the, uh, the vanity here. That's cool. They got a medicine cabinet. It's empty. Even the light fixture looks like it's late 80s, early 90s. We've got a little bathroom down here. We've got a pink toilet here. It's clean. And over here, we even have a shower. Oh my goodness, why won't it open? It's stuck. <laughs> I'm not weak, it was just stuck. Wow. That's pretty cool. So they got a little bathroom for the hot tub and, and pool. Oh wow. So there's another exit to go outside from here. This goes to the same area. If you turn around, they've got this really interesting room here. I'm not really sure what this room would have been. You've got a double French door going outside. They've got the electric panels buried inside this closet here. Look at those knobs. 
Those doors and those knobs look like they might be original to the house from 1961. Oh, and that's a window looking outside. Wow. So this is a very impressive looking room. I'm not sure what kind of room this would have been. Maybe this was the main entertainment space in the basement area. But this is a really stunning room. It's got beautiful flooring. And if you look around, the wainscoting is just absolutely stunning. This isn't cheap. It's actual wood. They did a lot of effort putting this up. Absolutely complements the room beautifully. And they even have beautiful crown molding going around too. Which really classes the room up. Now what dates this renovation to the room are probably these lights up here. This probably would date back to the late 80s, early 90s, I bet you, this renovation. Back here, it looks like we have storage. Oh yeah, lots of storage. This is kind of crazy. The floors are a little busted up, so they might have had some water coming in here at some point. Oh yeah, definitely. There's some evidence of water damage there. Also looks like they've had animals coming in here hiding some food. Oh, wow. Copper's still there, though. So, yeah. So, this is this is one of the older rooms in the house. You can see all the doors are a little bit older looking. Those knobs, not so much. But a cool little storage room deep in the bowels of the home. Oh, and you can see that this is a, like a laminate they put on the door to fancy it up. What a very cool room, though. Almost reminds me of like a dance room or a little entertainment space. You would have had your guests. And now we got two doorways here. So let's see which one we'll take. This one goes into an office. And this one goes to the sunroom. That's a beautiful archway in that door. That's very cool. Okay, you know what? We'll check out this office first. No, very nice room. They got a crown molding and a chair rail going around. Those are some amazing big French doors. And we got a bookshelf built into the corner here. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at these doors, just beautiful. Beautiful French doors. I'm they have brass between the glass, which is kind of interesting. Usually they're wood. Not these ones. Oh, wow. Even the trim in front of the door here. The flooring looks a little more generic. Looks like that laminate hardwood stuff. It's probably from the last 15 years. Kind of doesn't match the rest of the decor in here, to be honest with you guys. What a beautiful bar. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah, see the quality of this workmanship here on this bar is far superior to what they used for flooring. This is really cool. This bar has the same tiling. There's that back storage room. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Take a look behind the bar. <laughs> yeah, this is very cool. Very cool setup. The fridge is unplugged. Is it empty? It is. Yeah, nothing's too messy in here. Well, that's a beautiful display area too. I like the glass behind it. That's very cool. There's me, kind of. Yeah, that's a very, very cool bar. I like this. Oh, wow, look at that out there. That's a beautiful fireplace. Oh, whoa. 
This is an insane basement. Can you guys believe this? This is the basement. What is upstairs going to look like? Again, the woodwork here is beautiful. I love the shelving here. The shelving's got a beautiful curve in it, which is kind of interesting. I wonder if there's a staircase on the other side. Okay, yeah. Wow. That is so cool. Now, they have a drop-down area here by the fireplace, so let's go check that out. Very cool. Wow. So they could have had chairs and tables all around this upper area. And they probably had stuff down in this lower area too. This fireplace is just amazing. It's a real fireplace. You can see it's been rusting. Looks like a cat ball's in there. Or maybe that's a ping pong ball. Yeah, that's a ping pong ball. So they probably had a ping pong table down here. They had a little shelf here with a, with a plug. So something could have been in there just on display or lighting up the area. Of course, they had the wood storage here. Wow. That is a stunning fireplace area. I absolutely love this. It's got beautiful crown molding going along the top. Of course, the woodwork along the ceiling here is just unbelievable. It matches the bar. Just an amazing area. Like, guys, this is really cool. I'm curious, though. What's in here? Okay. So in here, we got a furnace room. Oh, wow. At one point, it was a tiled floor, and they removed the tile. Oh, that's crazy. So over here, looks like at one point, they had a boiler or some kind of a garbage uh, incinerator or something. I can't read what those say. Obviously, they're not used anymore. You guys know please let me know in the comments but you can see the furnace is fairly fairly modernized like i said in the intro this place was abandoned probably sometime during the start of this year it was briefly abandoned a few years ago and then it was rented out so that's why you're probably seeing a lot of modern uh trim and all that furnace and everything that's probably why it's all a little more modern than what you'd expect from a place that's been abandoned longer. But yeah, let's take one more look at this. Absolutely stunning, stunning hangout area. I can't, like, the, the amount of fun you could have in this basement, the kinds of parties you could throw. You know, you could have big UFC parties, big leaf parties, big family gatherings, Christmas, like, you name it. This was the place to be in this house for sure. Let me just show you this. Um, I guess the foyer to the basement. Like, look at this. They got a beautiful curved stairwell going upstairs. It's not a fountain, but uh, they've got these statues here, which are pretty cool. Even that stonework behind it, like, what an area. Okay, so we'll check out this room over here. We'll go up those stairs later. Okay, so over here we got a hallway. Some interesting brass lights up there. Those look like they're from the 80s. And this hallway takes us to a change room. Okay, looks like we got a few directions to go here. What do we got over here? So just again, so you guys know where we are, that's the stairwell just through there. Over here we got a, no way. This house has a sauna too. And it's big. It's 
a little short. My head's almost touching the ceiling. But wow, this is nuts. <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful sauna. Definitely the biggest one I've seen in the house yet. The rocks are still there. The cedar in here is beautiful. The benches, they're beautiful too. This is an amazing, amazing sauna. Living in this house would have been quite a life. Even the door to the sauna, look at that. That's amazing. Then you go up to this room here and they've got a shower. Go we'll check out the shower. Yeah, wow. That's a nice shower too, look at that. Cedar shower. Oh, I like the varnish cedar, it looks really, really nice. Wow, that's a beautiful, beautiful shower, everybody. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting too excited. I didn't mean to say everybody like that. <laughs> but seriously, guys, look at this shower. It's, this is amazing. I love this. And it looks like they have a thermostat for a... That might be an infrared light. It doesn't look infrared. Oh, maybe... No, that isn't one. Maybe they're in here. Oh, no, no. Sorry, guys. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. This timer here is for the sauna, not for an infrared light. That door is very impressive. That's amazing. Wow. That's very cool. So they have an amazing sauna as well as a hot tub room and an outdoor pool. What a place. Now this would have to be the laundry room. Oh, it's a kitchen laundry room too. Interesting. This is looking a little bit more 80s. These look like those 80 cupboards, but they painted the wood red. Interesting. It's a very cool red sink though. I like that. Don't see very many red sinks, do you? Even that faucet looks pretty old. Yeah, see, the paint's rubbing off here. It's actually that wood 80s type cabinetry. The red matches the sink nicely. I like that. They got an old GE cooktop here. And that's a pretty old overhead there. Range head, sorry. The magnets on these doors. It's a very sterile looking room. I'm actually kind of surprised to see kitchen equipment in here. I honestly, walking down this hall, thought this was just going to be a laundry room because everything is so sterile with the white. I mean, none of it's really new. You got an old Whirlpool machine. That counter is probably the newest thing in here. And that's the, uh, the Maytag washing machine. But yeah, this counter looks a little more new, I would think. That's crazy. Even that wallpaper. Look at the wallpaper. <laughs> Looks like it's that silk type 80 stuff. And over here, we got another power area, another breaker room. Look at this. That brown plug is pretty old. Yeah, this is all for the pool and everything. The sauna. Wow. Got an old ADT switch panel there for the security system. Wow. This basement's wild. I can't believe they have a kitchen slash laundry room down here. The house is so big, you have to have two kitchens. Well, that's a nice bathroom. So this bathroom looks a little more modernized. This is definitely more newer, more of a newer toilet. No turds in there. Look at that vanity. That's very cool. That's very fancy looking. It's got a nice sink. There's a spider in there. And there's me in the nice mirror. The shower looks a little more modern. This might be like a 90s type of shower, or at least the door. It's a bit of a narrow shower as we go inside, but it'd be a tight fit for me. And the equipment is fairly standard. That's a very nice little bathroom still. I really like that vanity. And as I'm noticing in this hallway, I didn't point out to you guys before, it's still ritzy in here. 
that they have wainscoting in the hallway. And it goes all the way down to that room there. So in here, I noticed a change room, or at least that's what I called it when we first came over. Let's see what this actually is. Oh, the, wow. There's a water heater. That's a really old exhaust fan. Look at that. That's probably from the, when the house was built in the 60s. The rest of this stuff is obviously a little bit newer. And a water softener. So what's in these lockable doors? The keys are in them. Oh, well, they're just closets. That's interesting. Lockable closets. Hmm. That one doesn't have the handle. That's interesting. So they have lockable closets. I'm not really sure why. They got an interesting track light above that one to light up the room. It's a little rigged together. I guess that's cool though. Go this way. So we got a set of stairs here. We'll take those up after. Over here we got another room. This basement is huge. We still have to go upstairs. Oh, I like that. This wood panel wall is kind of cool. It looks like someone actually threw it together. It looks like they had paneling and then they put this cross stuff on it, but it looks really, really cool the way they did it. I dig that. If you look around, there's a closet here. So this might have been like a bedroom. If you had to ask me, if I had to guess, this was probably an old bedroom. Basement bedroom for a guest. Look at that old electric heater on the floor. That's definitely original to the house too. It's weird that the window goes to the sunroom. Maybe at one point this actually went outside. Maybe the sunroom is an add-on. Let's we'll see if we can figure that out. Okay, so we got another arch doorway going to the sunroom on this side. Okay, yeah. So if you look straight down there, that's the arch door I showed you before. Under here, looks like we got another bedroom maybe. And it's got a bathroom too. Wow. And there's a closet. So this looks like it was another guest room. Those curtains are fairly modern looking. Again, so are the floors. These are those laminate hardwood floors. So this was probably all done in the last 15 years or so. Yeah, the floor is a little dirty down here, like there might have been water damage or something. It's very bad. Look at that. Yeah, see, the cabinet's kind of breaking apart like water's gotten into it at the bottom. So this cabinet doesn't look so new, especially the top. And that American Standard faucet looks like it's from the 80s, so. You know, it's weird. It's like they've redone some of it, and some of it's still in the state it was for most of the time it existed. So this is a medicine cabinet that uh, is empty, except for screws. It's cool though, I like that, it's a little different. The beveled glass with the uh, vanity above it. Shower curtain in this room is pretty cool. Interesting looking tub though. I mean, this is an old tub. It's acrylic. It's getting rusty. It's, in a, it's a jacuzzi actually. That's neat. Tiling is pretty interesting. Actually looks like there's some metallic paint or something on the tile there that's reflecting in that pattern, which is cool. Again, the faucets and hardware look like they're from the 80s. But this jacuzzi, to me, looks like it could be original to the home. It's, it's a pretty old looking jacuzzi. It's definitely not an 80s jacuzzi. If it is, I've never seen one like that. Over here, we got a tub or a shower. <laughs> we just looked at the tub. Doesn't want to open. There it goes. Yeah, so you got your 80s insert shower here. With some pretty generic hardware again, faucets and hardware. Yeah. It's an interesting little bathroom. Color choices of the tiles are very interesting. And the toilet has an interesting color too. Well, 
that's a dirty toilet. It got bombed at some point. Oh yeah, and there's even water stains there. And over there by that poor unfortunate dead mouse. Yeah, so they definitely had some water issues. Okay, why don't we check out? Okay, so this is the sunroom here, or at least the basement part of the sunroom, and it's quite massive. I wanted to save this for you guys for last because this is just really impressive. Of course, this is the stairwell I've shown you guys before. I'll just kind of walk you guys through this room. It'd be a little quiet because I'm here with James from Static Spaces and he's in the other room. If you guys haven't seen his channel, please go check him out. See, the office here has a window too. So to me, like I was mentioning a minute ago, I'm pretty sure this was an add-on to the house. If you look out to the pool and the hot tub room over there, you can see the brick all matches. And it's exactly the same as the brick that's in here. Same as the brick where the windows are. So what they probably did is they added this sunroom on at some point and opened up that wall and opened up the two walls to get into the other parts of this area in the basement. It's quite impressive. Well, what a view. I mean, really, what a beautiful, beautiful room. Sliding door there. Massive windows there, which are ventable. You got another sliding door there. Just amazing. Okay, let's go up these stairs. We'll see what's going on upstairs. Beautiful spiral, well not spiral, but curved stairs. Oh, and look at that, guys. <laughs> That's amazing. So the sunroom is a two-part sunroom. There's an upstairs to it as well. Absolutely mind-blowing. And again, it matches my theory for downstairs. That this was likely a renovation added onto the house. Looks like that was an old exterior light with the brick. Wow. You got a beautiful skylight. That's actually painted on, believe it or not. So they sponge painted the ceiling and then stenciled on all these decorations. Look at that. That's not cheap to pay somebody to do. Oh, and I should point this out to you guys. It actually looks like they have melting wires along the window ledge here so that they can melt the ice and snow off in the wintertime. As you can see, it goes all along and it even goes upstairs. There's more cabling up there. What an amazing room, man. <laughs> Just look at that. Check out those Roman guys there. That's a beautiful gas fireplace. Wow. That's amazing. Beautiful marble, beautiful brick. The ceiling is stunning. Look at all the wood paneling. Just unbelievable. The workmanship that went into this room. These door openings with the curved corners, like there was no expense spared here. Then they've got this beautiful walkout deck, which actually goes on top of the uh, hot tub room I started in. That's a cool triangle shaped window there. Well, that's neat too. So all the windows have uh, 
shutters that pull down and they attach, well, they are attached to the bottom by cable there. So when you let them down, they cover up the place like that. Really cool. I guess we'll work this way. So here it looks like we have another kind of living space. I'm not sure what kind of room this could have been. It's very nice though. They've got beautiful pot lights on the ceiling. That's looking back to the sunroom. And of course, this is looking out to the main hallway. <gasps> Guys, look at this. How can this place be abandoned? That's a beautiful foyer to the front door. Is that a sunroof? Or skylight, I mean? I keep calling them sunroofs, but it is a skylight. Wow. Very cool closet. So that's a little bit more modern, that stone up there, that faux stone. What's really cool is that ledge. I bet you anything there's a light in there. I bet you this lights up the, uh, the ceiling, gives this room some nice ambience. And there are a ton of light switches here. And over here they have a little, I guess, guard. They would have like a, some kind of a uh, vase or something in there. And I bet you anything. Let's see. Yep. They have a light back there. So this, this area would have been just amazing when lit up. It would have had all sorts of ambience. Over here we got a bathroom. Oh. Wow. Brown bomber been here. Um, something's been there. That's moldy. They got a friggin' huge jacuzzi right at the front door. John, what does that say? But yeah, you look around here. That's some really cool tile work. There's pink in that tile there in the middle, I think. It's not really picking up in the light, but I can see it over there. Look at those lights. <laughs> Definitely 80s lights. They're like little mini chandelier pieces on the bathroom wall. That's quite a cool looking mirror. Wow, look at the size of that sink. It's huge. It's like double the normal sink size. And of course the uh, cabinetry looks like maybe 90s or early 2000s. Wow. Door's a little shoddy though, the door jam. Look at that, a little busted there. It looks like somebody's booted the door open at least once. Which is a little strange. Even the old pot lights are pretty dated in here. Well, yeah, that's a very cool bathroom. I can't believe there's a jacuzzi at the front door of this house. Man, there's jacuzzis and fancy things everywhere we go. And of course, this is the main hallway again. Those are the stairs that we came up. Just, I'm gonna let you guys just take this in for a second. Like, wow, these paintings, John Angel. So they had an artist paint these, obviously. I like how they're framed right onto the wall. And yeah, that is actual oil paint. One thing I noticed right away is that tacky wiring. So that, that plugs in there. They just tack the wiring on for the alarm panel like that. I've pointed that out before. I hate shoddy work. Wow. So this hallway is supposed to look like it's all brick. And it's got wainscoting. Now the brick is actually painted. All this is painted. The wainscoting is a nice touch. I've already pointed that out a couple times. Just looks so rich when you come in here. I like that Spanish style railing going downstairs. Those are the stairs that we came up from. Even the ledge, it's all marble. 
Here's another picture from John Angel. I don't know who John Angel is. I don't know if he's a popular artist or if he's just a local artist. That's another beauty. This one's actually cracking, I guess, because of the weather. This house not being heated anymore. And there's another one over here. Look at that, the ceiling even has two stages. Pot lights. Even the trim. There's just so many little touches. There's a little bit of trim missing there for some reason, but it runs along here. It's also missing there, so that's kind of weird. It's like they forgot to do that spot on both sides. Oh, they even have a curved corner to the ceiling. Yeah, that trim with the curved corner just looks amazing. And of course this. I don't know what this is called. I'm sure someone will tell me. With this clamshell type indent to the ceiling, where they've painted the seabed or whatever that's supposed to be, it looks like it's either grass or it's underwater. But that kind of looks like the sky. So we'll just pretend that's long grass. Yeah, that's, that's grass. There it is. It's not seaweed. I was thinking it was underwater for a second, but that's just grass and weeds. And you're looking at the sky. This is kind of like, like you're on top of the world, but it's very, very cool. And I bet you there's lights to go around that that light it up too. If I had, if I was a betting man, I would put money on that. But guys, like it's hard to give you guys the full scope of what this is like, but I hope I'm doing the, a good job of it. This is truly an absolutely incredible space. Okay, so let's work our way through. We already came from this room here. So let's go down this way and see what we can figure out about here. And they got beautiful sconces on the wall. Again, they have that elegant chandelier type look. You can see how dusty they are. That one too. AS5. So somebody's busted into the walls a couple times and it says AS5. I have no idea what that means. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at this room. Now, this room reminds me of the 60s, big time. This might be an office. You, know, you got all sorts of stuff in there. So they might have TVs or maybe even security cameras or something in here. But you can tell these slide cabinets here, that hardware is definitely screaming 1960s. This is definitely original to the house. Some of the paneling even looks like it's from the 60s. Actually, all of it does, really. Those wide boards. That's real wood. It's beautiful. And look at the ceiling. Look at that wood panel ceiling. Like, they, they did it right. It looks like a hardwood floor on the ceiling. Absolutely amazing. Even the trim. It's not a crown molding, but that trim just, it tidies it all up and it makes this look perfect. They got a couple of fans in here. Beautiful shutters on the windows. I'm assuming there was lights back here. Nothing back there. They might have had curtains, I guess, at some point. There's a big, <laughs> there's a big cobweb hanging in front of me there. But yeah, it's a pretty cool room. It's even got really expensive marble flooring. One thing I'm noticing though is everything looks crooked, like it's collapsing towards the middle. I have noticed that this house seems to be in weird shape. If you look at this room where I'm standing, as you get towards the door, everything is dry, actually dropping. And if you look out there, as you look across, the floor actually elevates towards the other wall. I can actually feel as I'm walking out here that the floor is dropping too. Crazy. What do we have this way? That's interesting. This floor is all wavy looking. So that's probably from moisture exposure. Oh, wow. This looks like it was a master bedroom. Yeah, the bed would have been here. You've got these sconces on the wall that would have been on each side of the bed. You got fans in here again. I guess this house had air exchange upstairs. That might be what that is. 
Let me show you the paint job they did. This is pretty cool. So they obviously did like two stage paint here where they masked off the wall and painted the two different colors. All these stripes are hand painted. All these diamonds are hand painted. It's pretty cool. This room has a continuation of the crown molding. They've got that notched molding below it. That seems to be a theme throughout this floor. That's pretty nice. Over here, they got a mirrored closet. It's actually quite a small closet. Wow, that door handle almost looks like something you'd see on a shower. <laughs> and in here, okay, we got a master bathroom. Wow. So here's yet another jacuzzi. Look at that tile. I don't know if you can see it, but it's almost got like a digital pattern to it. It's pretty cool. Even the white tile has a digital pattern to it. And that border, that border tile is quite interesting too. Look at the texture to it. Yeah, that's cool. I've never seen tile like that before. I bet you that wasn't cheap. Even the bathroom has crown molding and look at those brass light fixtures. Those are pretty old. <laughs> Even they're up there too. Wow. It's a cool uh, big mirror in here. They got a bunch of lights under it. But yeah, I like those cabinets too. So instead of a medicine cabinet, they have a couple of cabinets on each side of the mirror. That's nice. Those taps, those faucets definitely look older. I don't know what era these cabinets would be from though. They might be older. They might be 60s or 70s. I'm not really sure. I think these toilet and the bidet look a little more modern. It's moldy, but no poop. What does that say, John? You got even a brass toilet paper holder in this one. Let's see the shower. That's a decent sized shower. Looks like they've had some hack work done on the repairs. It looks like that tile snapped and they just kind of put silicone across it. Wow, that's a cool faucet there. I like that. I've never seen one that looks like that. That's pretty cool. That's got to be 60 style. I'm sure Tommy or John could tell us that. And of course, that light has been there forever. It's in rough shape. But again, this follows the same tiling pattern as the bathroom, which is really cool looking if you ask me. It's a little unique. Well, actually, it's very unique. I've never seen a bathroom that looks like this. Even on the bidet, the faucet handles look like the one in the shower. Oh, and so do the sinks as I'm looking. Wow. What do you guys think? Uh, you like this bathroom? Would you guys change it? Is it too ritzy? Is it too dated? Tell me in the comments. This is kind of weird. They have a closet in the bathroom that's bigger than the bedroom closet, which is strange. And it's mirrored. So you can watch yourself in the tub or on the toilet. Always good. Okay. Let's work our way back down this hall here. So this was the room that we came up through after we came up around the stairs. I'm just noticing the floor in here is also wavy. Weird. I don't think the floor is supposed to look like that. AS3. I don't know if I pointed out already, but this room is also continuing the theme of wainscoting. And this room's got some really cool crown molding. It's ridged. Really cool looking. That's actually one of the nicer crown moldings I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. But I tell you what, I like it. And here's something else I should show you guys. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the opening here and the ceiling above it is actually sagging in the middle. I've noticed that a couple times in the openings that they opened here on the original walls. 
So I don't know if that's why this place could be getting demolished too. Maybe structurally it's not great anymore. This is another interesting bedroom it looks like. Wow. Every room's got fans, so they must have built-in air exchange. That must be what that is. Got a couple sconces on the wall here. So my guess is that they had a queen-size bed or something, probably right there. This was definitely a bedroom. Beautiful shutters. Beautiful. Here's a look out on that deck. I showed you this from the sunroom. But if you go straight out there and go through that floor, that's where the hot tub room is. And that's that triangular window that I showed you from inside. Very cool. Very, very cool. This house is really nice. Oh, look at the crown molding in this room. Again, there's some wire hackery for you guys. Just absolutely horrible wiring. Where is it going? Over here, that's just a phone cable. <laughs> that would drive me nuts. This also has the, uh, the French doors with the brass separation on the glass, that's cool. But yeah, what I wanted to show you guys is this crown molding. Look at the design, the design in the crown molding. That is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. It really classes up the room. What a view from here too. You come out here, and that sunroom is just on your left there. This is the right time of day too. It's now about mid-afternoon, so we're getting the right amount of light coming in here. Gives you an idea how beautiful this spot was. Okay, so let's work our way back through the hall here. Just unbelievable. This place really is something. So I guess this would be the dining room. It would make sense. Again, the paint in here, somebody's masked it all off and hand painted all these stripes. Very cool. The room has some very nice sconces. They kind of look like the ones on the hallway over there. We got some beautiful crown molding again. This house, you can see, no expense was spared. Every room's got crown molding. Every room's got arch, well, not every room, but there's a lot of archway doors. You know, you've got fancy paint jobs, fancy murals. What a beautiful room. Chair rail going around it. Looks like they had some water damage in here. Yeah, that's looking a little bit, a little bit bad. It's bloating. Another sconce. Little nook in this room, kind of a cool spot. Not sure what it would have been there, but I'm sure you all can use your imagine and do it how you would have done it. Yeah, this is a great room. Floors are very nice and clean looking. And of course it goes out to the sunroom, like the rest of the house. I love how this is connected. Beautiful view of that skylight. So that goes to the kitchen. As do these French doors. They're a little bit narrower, but they're very nice French doors. So this is the kitchen here. Oh, we got another corridor there. <laughs> this goes around this room. This is nuts. This house is a winding maze. <laughs> what do we got over here before we get into the kitchen? So we got another door to the house. With that brick, oh wow, it goes this way too. So the house goes that way still. I think I know what this is. Okay, yeah, so these stairs. Yeah, okay, there's the laundry room there. So these stairs take us down to the basement, which I already showed you guys. So let's properly explore this kitchen. Look how dirty it is under there. Oh my God. So this cabinetry has got a weird faded look to it. I don't know if that's from the light coming from the skylight over the years. 
It's a cool skylight over the basement stairs. Even that's faded up there, so I don't know. Maybe it's from the cleaners they were using. What a kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen is massive, guys. It's a very dated looking kitchen, though. These cabinets look very old. And what makes them look even older is that they've all got this faded look. It must be in the varnish. It must be from cleaners. It's a pretty cool Moen faucet. Look at that sink. Massive. Got a vegetable spot in the middle. Looks like that's a spice tray. Yeah. Now these cabinets, I don't know if these cabinets would date back to the 60s or not. But they're definitely at least the 80s. If not a little bit older. None of them have any like hardware on them. You just kind of reach above and open if they open. <laughs> As I don't open that. It's a very cool island in the middle of the kitchen. And what's cool about this island is they have a cooktop. I think it's a gas one too. It is. Yeah. I mean that. That's what you want. Oh, that's cool too. It's a pretty cool range hood they got over it there. So what's funny is... They've put pool noodles on the corner so they wouldn't smash their heads. They're just crudely screwed on. I don't like that. That trashes up the place a bit. But I tell you what, this is cool. <clears throat> and I'm willing to bet this is an older cooktop too. Very, very cool. Well, that's the fridge. When I first came up, I thought that wasn't the, I thought that was a cabinet. It's a fridge. It's a pretty old looking fridge on the inside. That's probably a 70s or an 80s fridge, probably an 80s fridge, but it's pretty dated. It's a little smelly. It's a lot smelly. Lots of counter space in here though. I mean, look at that, you got counter space there. Counter space going to where the sink is. Counter space where the, uh, where the uh, cooktop is. And wow, look at that. I didn't even notice that. Look at this microwave oven combination unit here. Wow. Thermador microwave combination. That's a pretty old looking unit. So when you get over here, yeah, that's the entrance to the sunroom from the kitchen. So that's looking out to the sunroom from the kitchen. It's pretty cool. Nice flooring. Oh, look at that. There's a built-in pocket door, guys. Oh, that's nice. So they got a French door sliding pocket door blocking this. That's cool. stunning this is one of the most amazing rooms I've ever seen of course they got the pool outside and they also have a little bit of a sunroom area in the kitchen now to be honest with you guys I'm a little nervous here it is collapsing I can see that it's leaning you can probably see it too but it's leaning to the left I can feel it on my left foot I'll just show you guys, like, look at the moldings. They're coming, they're not even attached to the floor. I don't know if I can show it on the camera or not, but that molding isn't on the floor anymore. Yeah, it's cleaning, clearly leaning down here. That's a very cool spot, though. Oh, yeah, look at this. The window. You can see the window's pulling down. The window, sh the frame should be up here. And it's pulled down. That's a very cool sunroom area in the kitchen, you gotta admit. This would have been beautiful all morning, all evening. And this is what the kitchen looks like from this perspective. Okay, so we've shown you guys that part of the house, so we're gonna keep going this way. I guess we'll go this way first. So there's obviously more this way. 
Again, this might have been outside at one point. Okay, so we got that wavy looking hardwood floor. Maybe the floor is supposed to have that texture. I don't know. Okay, so we got one more bedroom. Wow. Every bedroom has fancy lights on the wall beside the bed. So those ones are cool. You could have moved those. Would have at least a queen size between them. This room looks a little more modern. I mean, the light shutters are pretty new. This flooring is a little more modern. And as I move back into this area, I can feel that the floor is leaning away from the wall that we're facing. So there's definitely some structural issues with this house. And the floor just popped underneath me. It's a nice double French door going out to the yard. Or actually, I think that goes out front. That's an old Honeywell thermostat. But yeah, it's a nice classy little room. You got, you know, crown molding, molding again, running along the ceiling. Every room I think has had it. Not every room has had the same style, but it's very nice. There's a lights up here. Nope, so they probably had a curtain railing, a curtain rod up there at one point. Yeah, I'm not sure these floors are supposed to be wavy like that. They're popping around underneath me. So here we just got a closet and another electrical panel. This house has at least three of them now. And we got another crazy bathroom. <laughs> like, look at this. Look at that tile. It's like that bathroom, the master bedroom bathroom we saw with the metallic tile. This has some metallic in it too. Looks like it's purple or dark blue. It's hard for me to tell, especially with the light on it. But I like this tile. It's dated. It's probably 80s tile. This tub is very dated looking. But you know what? When you tie it all together, it actually looks quite nice. That's a quite a big jacuzzi. Look at that. That's like a waterfall faucet. Yeah, no expenses were spared here. I guess we'll take a look. Well, the brown bomber kind of was there. That's a little one. Oh, this bidet has a lid on it. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen a bidet with a lid. Now look at that. This shower you got to step over. Oh, well, that's weird. It's a step up shower. But it's cool because it's got the same tile. It all matches. That metallic part looks really cool with the light on it. Too bad it doesn't show up the same on the camera. And if I show you guys the hardware, it's, you know, generic again, pretty generic for the time. Well, the shower scrub is still there too. Yeah, this is a really cool bathroom, guys. I like this. Oh, you know what I didn't even notice? Bathroom also has a skylight. A little bit of water damage coming in. It's got nice, well, a little bit dated looking, but cool brass pot lights going around the room. That's a pretty cool wood shelf. They added it up there. A little more storage. And if you look down here, the cupboards, these look typical of the late 80s, early 90s. Again. Really, really big tub or <laughs> tub. This is a sink, Greg, but that's a, a really big sink. It's pretty much the size of a tub. And you got a medicine cabinet that opens up three ways. Oh, let's not pull it off the wall. So, yeah, and they've got the same kind of chandelier lights the other bathroom had. All right, well, let's work our way to the last part of the house. I think that's going to wrap this one up. This was a long one. Hope you guys enjoyed this place. Okay, so this final corridor here must take us down to the last couple of rooms. We'll go this way first. Okay, so it looks like we got another bedroom. Right away I can see the floor is leaning away. Closet's pretty gutted. 
and I must go over the stairs to the basement. That's an access to the attic there. It's kind of a messy closet. Yeah, as we turn around, this is not one of the bigger rooms. This might be like a kid's or a guest room. Still, they follow the theme of the rest of the house. Crown molding along the top. You got one of those things to hide the curtain rods if they had them. And they've got some uh, decent moldings on the floor too, actually. With even the round molding going against the hardwood. It's a very big bathroom. Whoa. Wow. Oh, whoa. There's another room there. So this is a joint bathroom. Look at the crown molding in here as I'm looking up. So it's another room with fancy crown molding. Very nice. It smells in here. I'm wondering if something has happened. Do we check? Wet. It's wet. Why? Look at that red granite. That's cool. So they got proper medicine cabinets in here. So this might have been like a kid's room or something. Kid's bathroom. We got two sinks. Very interesting hardware on those sinks, by the way. Look at those handles. <laughs> well, yeah, that would make sense. You got two sinks. You got a closet here. I guess this would have been for the linens and all that. You got another closet over here. Look at that towel hanger. Even that is cool, like the sink. That is wild. And even the faucet for the uh, shower. Interesting. So this is a pretty narrow insert tub. This is probably an 80s type tub, shower. He's got the light in there, which is cool. A little bit more modern of a shower head. But I tell you, that faucet, I like that a lot. I like the handles, how they all match. Oh, even this towel holder over here. <laughs> even that matches. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Oh, even the toilet paper holder. Wow. I mean, I don't know if I like that, but the rest of it looks cool. Wow. The tiling's pretty cool. I don't think that was tiled in, but it's actually textured so you can feel it. Over here, we got another bedroom, it looks like. It's a really big room. And you can see they've painted these green squares, kind of like the other rooms where they masked everything off and hand painted all the different colors. This is probably one of the more modern rooms in the house. It's pretty cool. Yeah, those paintings on the door might have me believing this was a kid's room. You might see that in the kid's room. There's AS2. And the floors in here are obviously modern laminate as well. And of course, there's crown moldings. You can't look at a room in this house and not have crown moldings. We even painted the squares right up behind there. They didn't take too many shortcuts. That's pretty good. So yeah, I think these are probably kids' rooms. This is the bigger room, so I would assume this was the older kids' room. And it would make sense because they have the joint bathroom. There's two sinks. There's two medicine cabinets. There's two, there's two closets. Yeah, that's what I think this is. And then, of course, this would be the other kids' room. So I think that all makes sense. But on that note, because this is the door to the other room that we just saw. Yeah, see, this is the room joined to the bathroom. But I think we just covered the entire house. This is a closet here. This is obviously where they kept their shoes and whatnot. Yeah, this is the walkway back out to the front hallway here. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that before. Look at the archway. That's beautiful. 
There's an archway like that. Oh, look at that. I'll show you those two as well. Yeah, I didn't show you guys these the first time because I didn't notice them. That's some really cool woodwork and architecture there. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap this one up. This place was absolutely wild. Absolutely mind-blowing, actually. One of the most beautiful places I've seen. And I hope you guys agree with me. I mean, really. The only word you can say when you see this is wow. Okay, guys, that's all the time we have for this explore. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this place. I absolutely loved bringing this one to you. It was one of the most amazing places I've ever had a chance to show. If you guys agree with me, please make sure you hit that like button. And of course, leave a comment after the episode. And if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button there. Check out last week's video there. Check out the random video up there. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.